All right, guys, so speaking of fake news and making corrections to the stories, uh, CNN looks like they may have got scammed big time, okay? I, I, look, this right here, I'm just saying it, it smells like a scam to me, but I don't know. I could be wrong, right? I, I want you guys' opinion on this because it just smells fishy in here. As CNN help raise $230,000 for a mom facing eviction before issuing a major correction that she's not actually the mother of the children that she claimed she was taking care of. Oh, okay. Now, guys, this comes, you know, as the eviction moratorium uh, has been extended by the CDC and the Biden administration, even though they know it's not constitutional. Now, some states, you know, some judges have basically shot that down, right? And they've allowed the, the evictions to continue. But CNN ran this sad sob story, basically in support of the eviction moratorium because they're basically a uh, outlet of the Democrat party, right? They're a propaganda outlet. So they're gonna agree with screwing over landlords, okay? That's what they're gonna agree with. So they ran this piece here, right? Basically, you know, showing this sad sob story of a mom uh, with three children um who was struggling to pay rent right and was facing eviction right and they helped this mom raise money okay uh, and they promoted the gofundme just to find out that she wasn't actually the mother of these children and more information that again makes me think that cnn got finessed okay so let's read more about what's going on here cnn recently promoted the story of a mom of three young children whom was nervous about being evicted amid the federal eviction moratorium. The liberal network even pushed a GoFundMe to help her cover the rent, but it turns out she wasn't the mother after all. CNN reporter Nick Watt caught up with Dashna Kelly last week for a story on the recent eviction moratorium lapse. He referred to the three children as her little girls and noted that they could all end up on the street as CNN's on-screen cryon said. Mom braces for eviction. Watt explained that Kelly lost her job because of the coronavirus pandemic and can no longer afford child care, and her little girls were shown doing CNN segment. However, it turns out Kelly isn't a mother of the three young children used throughout CNN's reporting. Okay, so you see here, uh, this is uh, Dashna Kelly, right, giving her her tears here, right, giving her crocodile tears, <laughs> or so it seems. Right, so CNN uh, issues an update on the story, and they says, update. After CNN aired a story about her potential eviction, uh, Dashna Kelly clarified to CNN that she is not the mother of the three children featured in the story. CNN has verified she takes care of the children in her home for periods of time. She says uh, she originally described herself to CNN as a mother because she considers herself to be one to them. A correction added to CNN's online report <laughs> said... The online version of the on-air interview now begins with the disclaimer. After CNN aired a story about her potential eviction, Dashna Kelly clarified to CNN that she is not the mother of the three children featured in the story. Kelly was portrayed as a single mom at the outset. However, Dashna Kelly has started a GoFundMe page to try and cover the rent. $2,000. It's a Hail Mary. She says she's praying for a miracle, uh, hoping for a miracle. Watt told CNN viewers who were quick to donate. Okay, so... Let's actually watch uh, a little bit of the CNN coverage here. This is the letter. Oh, I owe 1900 That letter is a 24-hour eviction notice. And you guys honestly freak me out when you knock this morning. I'm not going to lie because I'm really thinking they're coming at any moment. To throw Daisha Kelly, who goes by I Kelly, and her little girls, Sharon, Kia, and Imani, onto the street. Talking about it doesn't help. Um, sorry. No, Kelly, listen, we're sorry to... Yeah. You know what's happening when you start talking about it? It's yes. different. It's like it's bringing all of my emotions back up. I'm sorry. Kelly was a casino dealer here in Las Vegas. Loved it. I'm automatically, come on, please win. I'm rooting for you. Like, as soon as they bust, I'm upset too. I win. She lost her jobs, now has no car, and no money for childcare. It's this tiny virus that has come along and just taking everything i just had to donate a few days ago kelly is now donating blood plasma 100 bucks a time to buy groceries so you are managing to eat okay yeah, or... exactly oh yeah they're well they're eating okay <laughs> let's put it that way i'm like there's days i don't even want to roll out the 
the bed, roll out the floor. <laughs> you get what I mean. Kelly's pawned or sold nearly everything she had. I had a bed right here. There was a TV right here on top of this stand, so I had to pawn that. She thought about working online, but... You lost your laptop as well? Oh, I had to pawn that trying to keep up with the bills. <laughs> All right, so you guys get the point, right? Okay, so um, <clears throat> essentially CNN ran this, right, and promoted her gun GoFundMe. The GoFundMe raised over $230,000. And then CNN comes back again and does an interview with the great Cory Bush. Okay, so let's watch a little bit of this. So, Kelly, the congresswoman saw you last night on the show uh, in the piece about you and your girls. And she said about you and your children, I quote you, Congresswoman, we're working hard for you. Uh, and I know what it's like to be their mommy. Um, Kelly, do you have anything to say to Congresswoman Bush tonight? Yes, absolutely. It's it's an honor to even speak with you. I'm just so fortunate right now. This is beyond me. You don't understand. Like when I when I put that up, I never thought that anybody would anybody would have reached out, especially CNN, and then to hear that a congressperson it reached my story reached you. This is just amazing. I'm so thankful for that. There's people like you out there. I'm so thankful for it. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Kelly, you and your family, Excuse me. no, you and your family deserve representatives that care about you. We, the, our country deserves to have representatives that represent. And so this, this, this is the least that we can do for you is to step up and make sure that you get to stay in the safety and the comfort of your home while we work on other things to help make sure that your life and the lives of your children are better. This is our work. So you don't even have to thank us. This is our work. This is the least we can do for you. Okay. So you can see the, the finesse developing here, okay? You can see how far CNN ran with this, right? They even... Uh, gave Cory Bush a victory lap to make it seem like she's actually helping people when I've argued a thousand times that she's actually hurting people with his <laughs> policy, okay? So now, according to Fox News, it says CNN is now reporting that Callie is actually the girlfriend of the children's father and they will return to live with their actual mother before school starts. CNN's online version of the story was initially headlined more than $170,000 raised in 24 hours for mother and three kids facing eviction. It was changed to more than $170,000 raised in 24 hours for a Las Vegas woman facing eviction. <laughs> GoFundMe told CNN it has put the funds on hold and nothing has been withdrawn. Quote, my name is Kelly. I have three daughters living in Nevada. Kelly wrote in the description of the GoFundMe. We were maintaining just fine before this pandemic hit. Now we are suffering. We do have EBT for food and also applied for a chap. However, they do not assist immediately. We owe $1,900 for rent alone, not including utilities. I will figure out utilities by pawning a few things. As you all know, it is entirely still too hot to be homeless. My daughters are age uh, five, six, and eight. Please help with anything you can. CNN did not immediately respond to requests for additional comment. Okay, so I got some questions. Okay, I, I got some real questions here because they're saying that okay, this is not actually her children now, right? The, the initial story was well, these are my kids. So then, <laughs> uh, Miss Kelly raises all this money and then comes back to CNN and says, "Hey, well." You know, by the way, these aren't really my kids, but you know, I take care of them on and off, right? She's actually the girlfriend of the children's father, so she's not single. She's not even a single mother, right? She's not a mother and she's not single. Two things that are just absolutely wrong, okay? So that brings up the question of, okay, who's this boyfriend, right? Who are these children's father? Like, why is he not paying the bills? Is he not working, okay? Is he not working? Right. And not only is, is he not working and where is he? Where is he located? Right. Because if he's not in the house, if he's not around, then why is she taking care of these kids? Right. Especially if she doesn't have a job and the means to actually take care of them. Now, the actual real mother of these kids came out and spoke against this and tried to expose Miss Kelly for uh, basically putting her kids on camera and using them uh, to raise money without her permission okay she actually went on total boy sports or a youtube channel okay 
to explain what was going on. Her name is Shadia Hilo. Take a look. Thank you for coming on. I'm sure this is a really pain in the ass time for you right now. So uh, you, nobody has custody. That's the problem here? Nobody has custody. Okay. Nobody has been to court. Nobody went to court. We did not go fight for custody because we're supposed to be on the same page of, hey, you have them for a couple of days out of the month. I have them for a couple of days. And we're going to work with each other to be there for the kids. When is the last time you saw the kids? Like five days ago, and I'm still waiting for them to come home because they start school. Have you start? Have you talked to him? He, I talked to him this morning when he re he must have realized that everything was hitting the fan, and then called me and asked me to stop. But I don't. I'm. You should have never put my kids on TV. Period. Yes, of that course. That lady is not the mom for you to have consent for them to be on there. And if CNN is knocking on your door, you should have called my phone and said, "Hey." I have your kids here. I mean, I have the CNN here, and the kids are here. Do you want them on TV? I would have flat told you no. Yeah. You want to be claiming some kids, go find somebody else to claim the kids, leave my kids out of it. My kids don't need to be on TV. My kids don't need to be shown on there. No, not at all. If and I want to show my kids, I can show my kids. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of questions going on here, okay? This is really, really, really fishy. But moving forward here. Um, I, I got the question of why is the fake mother of these kids not working, right? During a time like now, um, one, if you lost your job during a pandemic, you got paid a boo cool ton of money from the federal government in regards to unemployment. You also got stimulus checks. Now, jobs are available everywhere, right? I mean, companies are literally begging for people to come and work and jobs are out there. Right. I mean, we're talking about signing bonuses up in the thousands of dollars. Right. Immediately. You can immediately pay whatever back rate you owe. So this story just does not add up. These kids uh, obviously aren't living with her full time. OK. And she's not taking care of them full time. And if you can't afford to take care of these kids, I, I don't know. I think you would go send them to their real mother. But that's not what's happening here. Right. We don't know what's up with her boyfriend. OK. The, the children's father. We don't know why she hasn't got a job. We don't know what happened to all the money that the gave, government gave her for being unemployed. But what we do know is that she's asking for money, saying that she might face eviction, right? And she also lied to CNN. So again, I got questions. What else are you lying about, right? Now she's raised over 200 some thousand dollars based off of this. And people, who knows what that money is going to? Who knows? We don't know anything at all about this person. And guys, I mean, this, in my opinion, is just kind of funny because it appears to me that the most trustworthy name in news, CNN, just got finesse. They just got finesse, right? But see, this is what CNN deserves for um, not doing their groundwork and verifying all the information that was being given to them by this uh, stranger, okay? Because you would think they would check this stuff out and verify it considering how they're a multi-million dollar media network, right? You would think you would check this information before you actually air this stuff. But apparently they didn't because they was more focused on trying to get the sad stop story out there. Or who knows, maybe they were in on it. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But what I do know is that you would never see a story from CNN trying to make people cry and elicit emotion over the landlords who are losing out on thousands of dollars, right? Like that story that I did about the landlord in NC that lost out on $24,000 plus had to fix the air conditioner for tenants that are living on his property that are not paying rent, but they're out here buying boats. They bought three boats, but did not pay this man rent. Now he's out at $24,000 plus some, right? Now Fox News aired that, CNN won't air that, right? They won't give any love to the landlords because they're supposed to be evil, okay, right, show some love to the mom and pop landlords, I mean, these people have been financed for a whole year, <laughs> but when CNN runs this one little sad sop story of this uh, mother, okay, single mother, it turns out to be fake, <laughs> it turns out to be totally fake news, okay, totally fake news, <laughs> and I find it absolutely hilarious, but like I said, regardless, you know, I don't know what's going on here. I just know it smells fishy. 
Because, again, she lied to CNN about being a mother in the first place. She's not really a mother, okay? Um, now, she might take care of the kids, but at the same time, it's like, okay, what happened to the father, okay? Your boyfriend, is he not working, right? Is, is, is his job not enough to pay the bills? Because if it's not, then you need to get a job, okay? Or send the kids back to live with their biological mother if you can't afford them. But it just seems to me that this seems to be a setup uh, in order to uh, get donations Okay, so that she doesn't have to get a job, right? So, I mean, that could be it. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.